It's just the box office, the main event, the professor of truth and entertainment. And if you don't know, you need to get to know. Back with another video. And this video, yes, I did promise you that we're going to go into the youngsters and the the structure at Tottenham Hotspur. But I did want to make a video on the fact that we've had a great start at Tottenham Hotspur. Everyone's loving Ange. Ange Postacoglu. Ange Postacoglu is plastered in everybody's on everybody's wall at the moment because he's they're absolutely loving him. So does that change the expectation of where Tottenham Hotspur should finish? Because at the moment we're riding high at the moment. Very much riding high at the moment. We've got the points tallied that we've got and everyone seems enthralled with the positivity and everything. Should we change our expectations? Should we have the expectations now of being very much in the top five race, because it's now a top five for the Champions League now. Or it's just just a full storm. Difference being, we did start well under Mourinho. Terrible football. We did start well under Conte. Terrible football. But can you really make a judgment on the first four games. So let's have a look at that fact. So I'm looking at the Premier League at the moment. So I'm looking at the Premier League from, I'm saying around 2011 to 2012. Now, you see these teams, now I'm just looking for the fourth week. Because that's really the, the time frame that you see most of these teams getting these, um, where you see who's who's top. And then you see, yeah, you've got your, your usual Manchester United. This is from 2011 to 2012. Uh, Manchester City, Chelsea. Then you have Newcastle, United, Stoke City in fifth place. Um, with eight points and eight points. So this is 2011 to 2012. So then we move on to 2012, 2013. Fourth week. You see Chelsea there. Chelsea, Manchester United, all the, all the regulars. But in fifth place, you see Swansea with seven points and West Brom, West Brom was average, Albion, with seven points as well, even Everton as well. Where are they now? Where are Swansea City? Where are West Bromwich Brom Brom Albion? Oh, yeah, Championship. Oh, yeah. So, a great barometer there, by the way. Great barometer. So, we move on. We move on to 2014-2015. Got the fourth week. We got Chelsea there, Aston Villa, Aston Villa second with 10 points. Swansea City, again, where's Swansea City right now? Don't need to say anymore. Southampton, they had seven points, fourth place. Where are they now? Oh, yeah, Championship. I forgot that. Oh, yeah, I forgot that. Oh, uh, but. Uh, I get the, the enthusiasm. I'm trying to be balanced here. I do hear the enthusiasm because at the end of the day, you see the players very positive. But would you look at those sort of teams, Swansea City and the likes of Southampton? And Southampton has some very good youngsters at that time as well, bringing up some of the youngsters. This is some of the stuff that we we're hearing We're hearing right now. I've, I've heard that we've got the class of 92 coming up right now. Especially with the, the old guard going, and they are going. I'm not going to give credit to the club because this should have done a long time ago. 
But this is what I, I'm trying to, to make out. What what do we need to be looking positive for in this start? Because it's always about how you, it's not about how you start, it's how you finish. And Tottenham at their start at the moment. Yes, you can say, oh, he's given us a bit of a positive outlook and seeing what the future could be like. So I can see what people are saying, but what the future, what could be like what it could be like in the future. But I can't take anything from that at the moment that you can take it like a pinch of salt. It's like a storyline in the WWE. You start the storyline. It's got that potential. You get really, really excited, really, really excited from the storyline. But you just want to know what's going to happen. But it's that ending that you can really determine whether that beginning gave you that urge to say, that's going to be great. That's going to be fantastic. I mean, yes, people will point out and we'll get to the season. We'll get to that season where Leicester City, Leicester City won the Premier League and they were very much up there as well. and But that was a very strange season. Let's just say that. Leicester City um, started um, very well, but also had a, were, fighting, were fighting relegation the previous season. It seemed that they had a lot of inspiration throughout that season as well. And the things just fell into their lap. And it was proven the following season because they were fighting relegation and the rest of the city, Vanieri got sacked. So is there an argument that Tottenham Hotspur are peaking too soon? The reason why I say that is because even though we're playing fantastic football, there is a moment where you're saying... You're showing your hand too soon. Otherwise, if you started badly, you can see the problems that are there already, work on those problems, and grow throughout the season. For instance, for example, Manchester United. Manchester United started really badly last season with Ten Hag. Question marks were on the him. But gradually, they started to get what playing hard was all about. And they grew. And what happened? They won the Carabao Cup and got top four. That's an achievement in itself in terms of achieving what they needed to achieve to get into where they needed to get to. At the moment, we've got signings like Madison, who's been absolutely fantastic. We've got Basuma, who's been vitalised. We've got Saar, who's got a new lease of life because he's he's been given the opportunity. We've got a signing like Van de Ven, Romero, who's calm as everything. But can you really make a judgment on this team, especially Son, who for me... He's still got a lot to prove at the moment as a captain. Whether he's going to be the leader through bad times. Is he going to be willing to to put himself out there as a captain? Is he going to pull out, pull up people that are not going to not pull in their weight? Because you can be a likable person. You can be a very likable person. Kane was a very likable person. Didn't win anything though, didn't he? And up to now, Son has not won anything at Tottenham Hotspur. So my argument is, is that are we getting really excited too much? In my argument, no. No. Because of the positivity and Ange 
and the fact that he's been very honest and that's it. But on the other hand, the evidence just shows you, regardless whether you are top, and the thing is, though, we're not talking about the, the, the regulars, Man City, Man United, Arsenal, Liverpool. We're talking about teams like Leicester City, Swansea City, Crystal Palace. When they're up there, do they last? And the answer is no. Because consistency is the key to success. And that's it. A short, sharp video coming from your man, your boy, Mr. Box Office. As as we close, if you didn't know, get to know, support your boy, Mr. Box Office, subscribe and like, and I'm out.